Anyway, I need you to share this video. Can Nigeria work together? Can Nigerians work together? Can we work in unity? Can we see this happen? And if we're going to see this happen, how? How can we see this happen? Can there ever be unity in Nigeria? Can there ever be real love in this country? How can that happen? All right, everyone, happy Sunday. Uh, I want to do this real quick. I mean, uh, uh, really, this question just pop up in my spirits. Can Nigeria be united? Can we see, uh, can we work in unity? Can we see us work in unity? Because uh, for a few months now, I've noticed that, oh my God, uh, everywhere is full of this unity, it looks like there's no love again in this country. Uh, this one is doing this, that one is doing that. And, uh, and I, I began to ask myself that can we find love again in this country? Uh, perhaps you, you are saying that this, there hasn't been love in the first place, but then uh, it wasn't this bad. It wasn't this obvious before. But now it, you can notice it. Even a, a baby, a baby that they just gave back to, we'll be able to know that something is wrong with this world. The question is, can we find love again in this country? Can we find love again? And many, uh, there's one thing that I know, when you look at the Bible in the book of Psalm 133 verse 1, it said, how wonderful, how beautiful, when brothers and sisters get along, when they come together and they walk in unity, when they do it together in unity, how beautiful it is, how wonderful it is uh, when we walk in unity. You see, the devil understands the power of unity. And when the devil can take unity out of a city, out of an organization, when he can take love out of an organization, out of a country, then that country, that organization is already a failure, is bound to fail already. And that's what I have seen with Nigerian uh, Nigeria entirely. And uh, some of you, you will say that, oh, you're quick to say that your leaders are the wicked one, that your leaders, they are the, they are the one that has caused so much damage to the country. But then what instruments are they using? Unknowing to most of you, you have become, of you, you, you are becoming, or you've already become an instrument in the hands of these bad leaders. Because they are using you so far, so good. Uh, they are not the ones that are working in this unity. Even when you see them working in this unity, when you see them throwing words at each other, as soon as they come together, <laughs> that thing, they throw it away. And we've seen that with many of them. Imagine when uh, FFK and Dino Menai, when they, uh, they were throwing words at each other, all of a sudden, they, all met, they both met at one event like that. They were hugging each other, shaking hands, as if everything they were doing on social media were planned. They were just trying to get to, to be noticed. As if they planned everything. After they planned everything finished, they will now call each other. Say, you see, Momo, we are pulling their leg, just punching, let them punch themselves. They continue to sow a seed of discomfort, a seed of uh, disunity, a, a seed of, uh, of hatred. They continue to sow it into the lives of Nigerians. And we are buying to it. And most of you, you will, you will sit down there, you will think you are a saint. You will think you are, you are pure. But then you don't realize that they are already using you as an instrument of destruction. They are using you already. Therefore, you cannot blame, blame them alone. You can now blame yourself too because you are being used. You are part of the problem. You are part of the problem. And that's why I keep saying, it's not, there's no nation that cannot be greater. There's no country that cannot be greater. But then we, people need to start putting their head together. People need to put their mind together. We need to now separate the wicked one, the one that is messing up our head. We need to separate ourselves from them. How do you do that when we realize or when we recognize where the problem is coming from? And we say, no, no, we begin to work together, work in love. I said this a long time ago, that now, if you want to know what is going on in Nigeria, just make a post. And as a result of the comment that is coming on that post, you, will, you can easily tell the states that Nigeria, the states that we have, with the comment of people, with the way they, 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 they give their point of view, their opinion, with the way they cause someone that they have not seen before. You have not seen me before, but you can carry your phone and cuss me out and say all sorts of rubbish, as if you know me. 
So are you already, you, you can point a finger on your leader, but then remember that four other fingers are pointing back to you. With the four other fingers that is pointing back to you, what part are you taking in the destruction of Nigeria? What part are you taking in that, 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 that mass destruction that the Nigerian leaders are causing Nigerians? Disunity everywhere. Everyone is hungry. Everybody, anyone you talk to is as if they are going to war. Because hunger is eating the country. And there's solution to this. There's solution to this. I have friends that live in Nigeria. They don't depend on what the government of Nigeria is giving to them. They have life somewhere else. They are living large. They are doing their own thing. Spending money that, that, that has nothing to do with Naira. Spending foreign currency. And they don't carry two heads, they only carry one head. The only thing that happens to them is they change their mindset. They change the way they reason. They educate themselves. They get their hands dirty. And they begin to think, okay, what can I do for myself? They begin to learn skills that, 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 that are not only related to what they can do in Nigeria. I don't keep them in one place, but then they can work with foreign countries. And until we begin to think, until we begin to take our, our destiny into our hand, I made a post into uh, uh, one of those things, uh, I think I, I said something in the video, that until you begin to take your destiny into your hands uh, in Nigeria, you might not succeed, you might, you, you, you're probably going to remain in one place, you won't go anywhere. And what I mean by that statement was that uh, you have to start thinking, what can I do? Even if this government is messing up, uh, even if this government are not, I'm not doing what we want them to do, even though this government, they are selfish, uh, what can I do for myself? Uh, what can I do for myself to take charge of my life, to take charge of my destiny? What can I do for myself to make sure that my life is better, to make sure that my destiny is secure, to make sure that I'm building a good life and a good destiny for my generation, for my children? Anyway, I need you to share this video. Can Nigeria work together? Can Nigerians work together? Can we work in unity? Can we see this happen? And if we're going to see this happen, how? How can we see this happen? Can there ever be unity in Nigeria? Can there ever be a real love in this country? How can that happen? Remember the Bible passage that I quoted, Psalm 133 verse 1, that how wonderful, how beautiful is it when the brothers and sisters, when they dwell together, when they get along, when they walk in unity, when they walk in love, how beautiful it is. That's what makes the city beautiful. That's what makes the country beautiful. When you have people that come together, like-minded people that they are saying that failure is not an option. We can't avoid to fail. We cannot fail at all. And they begin to do necessary things. And that's what our leaders are lacking. They are not coming together to put any positive things together. They coming together to eat as much as they can eat without thinking of tomorrow. Without thinking of tomorrow. But you, you are here. You have your life to live. What are you thinking about your tomorrow? What is it that you have in your hands that guarantee your tomorrow? Can we walk in love? Election came. They sow so much seed of discord, so much seed of disunity with the, between Nigerians and we buy into it, we accepted it, we, we run with it, uh, we snatch it, we run with it. <laughs> we need to start changing our mindset. We need to start thinking right. Uh. But answer my question, can we, is it possible that Nigerians will walk in love? Is it possible that we uh, will see a level of unity that guarantees success in Nigeria? I believe anything can happen. I believe Nigeria can be great. I believe God can put every bad leader, every wicked leader. God can finish any leader that is not good for Nigeria. I can finish them in one second. Where are those believers uh, that were praying in the days of Abacha? When are those believers? Uh, if they are no more, are there still believers that can gather and begin to pray for this nation? Or everybody are just selfish? Even though we are praying, it's our heart in what we're even saying in the first place. Everywhere is filled with corruption. We have those people. I believe in the power of prayers. I believe that God can change things around. When He's ready to do it, 
But then we have a long way to go. We have a path to take. We need to start changing our mind. And that's why you see, uh, I, I'm just kind of tired of negative news. I'm tired of reading all this nonsense news. I'm tired of sharing negative news. It's time to stay positive in Nigeria and make things out of this country. And know where you stand. Know where you stand. And this can only work when we begin to work on our mind. We begin to work on what we think, what we accept, what we put into our system. And we, we, we don't allow any bad leader to corrupt us. As it is now, a lot of people are messed up in Nigeria. A lot of brains have been messed up. A lot of people are just living, but they're gone. They're dead already. How can we revive these people? It takes love. It takes unity to begin to revive people. It takes jobs. It takes security. How can we make this happen? Even in this situation that we find ourselves, in this situation that we find ourselves, how can we make this thing happen? Or we're going to sit down and we're going to continue to profess negative words upon the country. Remember these people, they have not spent one year. <laughs> they still have a long way to go. They still have a long way to go. Three years, they far. Look as if they didn't know five. They far. Imagine if they are bad government and they begin they continue to do their bad imagine how much damage will happen to the country when we cannot put our head straight that's why i said do your part be great in life use what god has given to you what is it that you have in your hand to bring out the greatness in you and once you can do that and i can do that and many people can do that that greatness that you are able to create for yourself, you are able to build for yourself, will rub on this country. And that bad leaders, they will be put to shame. It's time to start thinking. It's time to start working. It's time to start, to start put, we need to put together what will make our life to be better. It's time to start thinking in the direction we want the country to be. Of course, if you want it to be scattered, you will experience it. If you want it to be great, you will experience it. Which part are you? What do you want for this nation? Anyway, again, my name is David Israel. It's just a word of encouragement that we need to start thinking positive. We need to start taking things to another state, another level of uh, reasoning, not just uh, doing things uh, that, that will continue to put the country in more trouble. We need to start telling ourselves that God bless Nigeria. God will bless Nigeria. Anyway, thank you so much for watching again. My name is David Israel. Happy Sunday. Please do share this video. Share this one. Share this video. Let it get to everyone. You don't know who will hear this. You don't know who will listen to this and their mindset will change and they begin to do something different. It might not be for anybody. It might just be for them. Imagine the lives that you will change if this video can get to them. Please share this video. Let this message get to people that need to have it, that we need to start thinking in a different dimension, direction, any, how, any way you want to call it. We need to start thinking right and do something for ourselves and make greatness out of our lives and let that greatness rub on the country and see if Nigeria will not be great. Nigeria is not great because you are not following what you're supposed to follow. You are not building up yourself. You are not fulfilling your Purpose. that's why nigeria is not great plus your bad leadership can nigeria be united can we work in unity is it possible yes i believe it's possible well, what do you say what do you say i want to hear from you and now if you have a word of encouragement please leave it for this platform let's hear from you make sure you drop your comment i want to read from you make sure you leave comments make sure you share this video please make sure you like so that it can reach a lot of people. Thank you so much for watching. My name is David Israel. Till I come your way next time. Peace out. God bless you. God bless you.